Knowing your angles used to be the trick to a more photogenic picture. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm going to put it on my favorite. But nowadays, social media filters can magically do all the work. When I use them and they make me this transformed person, I'm like, damn, who is that? It almost looks like your face is completely different. And I'm like, wow, what would I do to have that in a day-to-day -day basis? <laughs> Alita, a steel procurement exec from Houston, is so enamored with her filtered good looks. Oh my gosh, the eye, the eyebrows, wow. She's planning several cosmetic procedures to turn her face into a living selfie filter. If I can get this achievement, this is great. Alita says she filters almost every selfie she takes. But being single and ready to mingle and approaching 40, She's now stepping it up. It's this Snapchat filter, Mila, that sealed the deal for her. So on the left side, which is the non-filtered picture, the eyes more like sagging down and the skin looks really tired. Versus the right side where the filter is, everything has been lifted up, rounder, fuller, like there's no sagginess of the skin. Across town, Julia and her husband, Colby, are personal trainers and the owners of Illuminate Sweat. The 30-year-old is a former bikini competitor and full-time realtor. Julia is used to physical scrutiny. I have, like, really flatness right here, and so it kind of makes me look, like, tired, right? Making her appearance a priority. So I have these bumps on my nose, and it's kind of crooked now, so it kind of goes to one side. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and like Alita, one of her closest friends, Julia also uses filters to tweak her perceived imperfections. This is Facetune. Makes it really easy to kind of just freshen up your look, smooth out your skin, and fix my nose. So this is extremely small or thin and extremely wide. And you could also lift it. So that'd be higher. Wanting to make these changes permanent, Julia plans to go under the knife. I think with the surgery, I won't have to use Facetune. We joined her pre-op appointment with surgeon Franklin Rose. What we're going to do is just take down this little bump. Her tip is a little prominent. She doesn't like the tip, so smooth, smooth. She will look beautiful. In addition to rhinoplasty, Julia is interested in liposuction for areas she can't target through training or diet. Unfiltered, filtered. I Ooh, notice a big difference. See, bulky, 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 bulky. Yeah, square, SpongeBob SquarePants. And now, Waste. <laughs> skinny, 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 skinny. I can see the difference, and this is exactly what we're going to do. I don't know if we can get quite to this level yeah. with plastic surgery because this is a super skinny waist that she's filtered to. Even the filtered pictures are maybe unattainable? You can get close, but maybe not quite that curvaceous. The pandemic triggered staggering growth in plastic surgery and aesthetic procedures. In 2021, surgeons reported facial surgery alone made up 75% of their work. And starting at thousands of dollars for simple procedures, it isn't for everyone. Did you ever think you'd be looking at a filtered picture as your template to some extent? Oh, a filter, it happens all the time. It's the evolution of plastic surgery. It makes you realize like, re what you really could look like then, I guess. This is the well, model and I... People are enhancing. I'll just go down your Facebook scroll. Hi, Alita. Nice Hi. to see you. Hi, Dr. Rose. Alita also good. has a pre-op with Dr. Rose, but only for fillers and not surgical procedures. Be nice to have inspiration that filters give you, like just the smoothest face, you know, that will give me more confidence. The Botox will take care of all of this wrinkling. The mm -hmm. filling will lift and lift and lift. And then the microneedling will help with the texture just a little bit. Great. Just enough. Some people will look at you and say, you are an absolutely beautiful woman. Why would you want to do this? Who I am always wants to be better, whether that's a better wife or friend or look better, feel better. I'm always wanting to enhance. That's just kind of my personality. So even though people might perceive me in a way that they don't think I need any changes, it's something that makes me feel better. And I think when you can focus less on yourself, you can focus more on other people. This morning is surgery. I'm excited. 
Um, I'm gonna get my rhinoplasty done and my liposuction and I'll be no filter needed. Feeling so excited to see the change, the transformation that I've been wanting forever. Here we go. Hello, Julia. Hi, nice to see you. This is a little saggy right in through there, Julia. So I'm gonna get just a touch of this, just a touch of this. This contour we leave alone, that's the contour that you love, that patients love. This is because you're an exerciser. You see, patients can get to this contour with just exercise rather than fat grasp. Wow. It's like some liquid inside. I cannot wait to take off the bandages in five days and see my nose. I think I look a bit closer to the filter, although it's going to take time to see the real change in a seven days to ten days. That's what the doctor said. So excited. Ooh, this is going to be great. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey you. <laughs> it's been seven weeks since Alita and Julia had their procedures. Julia getting rhinoplasty, filler in her cheeks and facial microneedling, and lipo in her midsection and thighs. Elita getting fillers in her jaw and cheeks, Botox on her forehead, and around her eyes, microneedling and chemical peels. Today, they're revealing their new filtered look for friends and family. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very natural still, but very, very beautiful. Should Julia be using a filter now? No, <laughs> absolutely not. She doesn't need one. <laughs> you look, you always looked amazing, but you just looked gorgeous now. Oh, wow. Couldn't be any more happy. She was already so gorgeous, but he really did a number. Really, the nose and the, the cheeks. I mean, it, yeah. it really, I'm kind of blown away. Yeah. And especially seeing the, the actual reveal today, it was phenomenal. Did they reach that filter goal that they were looking for? I think pretty close. I mean, obviously, in plastic surgery, you cannot get completely to a filtered image. But it's amazing how many patients are coming in with filters on their cell phone. It's not stopping. All the time. How do we feel? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I feel really happy. Did you guys reach the goal of, of wanting to look like your filters? I think so. Um, we were taking pictures earlier, and I didn't feel like we needed to add anything. I don't feel like I have to have certain lighting or have a certain angle. I'm very confident now. Do either one of you feel like you've opened Pandora's box? So I plan to look microneedling every couple years. It doesn't even cross my mind to use a filter. Their photos, now an unfiltered reflection, of their bolstered confidence. For Nightline, I'm Idea Villarreal in Houston, Texas. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.